down by the Macquarie River there is a little park which is quite a friendly wholesome place it may not have all of the allure of the adventure park but let's look at how many corners it has you're making it difficult by being on it first oh, okay it, it looked it looked a lot more narrow than it actually turned out to be so we're going to start in a gentle rhythmic motion and you're going to sit there and enjoy the creaking it's very creaky it's so wee. this is fun <laughs> This is just going to be difficult to watch, I think. I'm sorry, viewers, if this is difficult to watch. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Tire swing. Fucking yeah! I came. I'll be honest. I came for the corners. He came. <laughs> <laughs> I came to this park for the corners. I'm staying for the fun. Let's be honest, this ride, there's no children hogging it all up, peeing and, and juicing on shit. It's all, it's, this is a grown up play area right here. You're a grown up play area. Partaking. She just stood there glaring at me. <laughs> we almost died, but now we're okay. I'm watching you, watching me, watching you. This is Penny. I mean, they have faces drawn on them. Profound intellectual. People have, have graffitied the thoughtful statues with faces. Oh my god, look at that one. Oh no, that's your face. And. There's more. This is a picture of the 1918 flood. And the 1918 drought. Of the Manly Beach on Look, the river. They had a drought and a flood, both in 1918. I think they're lying. Coming along, Penelope. That'd be funny in a blooper reel. Come on. I'm wandering down. If she slips, it gets two points. Two points for a slip. Two points. Two points for a slip. Oh god, I hope she slips. Damn. It's fine. The Bicentennial fine. Park, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. A hell judge. of a lot of corners. It does have a lot of corners. So many corners. Mm. It's sexy. It's really. not even worth counting the corners. Um, but since that's not the question anymore, it doesn't really matter how many corners it that's has. That's true. That life question was already just, used up. Life well. just isn't fair. No. So, the Bicentennial Park in Bathurst. Mm. It's general parkiness, let's be honest. It knocks it out of the park. It's pretty good. In a manner of speaking. It's pretty good. It's got nature. It's got a fair very loud bird. bird. Hey! Don't yell at it. That's a bird. I'm guessing it's a bird. I can't see the screen at the moment. Oh, there we go. I scared it because it was yelling at me right in my ear. So I yelled at it right in its face. That's what I do. Anyway, back to our judgment. As I was saying, knocks parkiness out the park. I'm going to give it a solid 10. I'm going to give it a nine. Really? Yeah. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. So that's nine and a half. Nine and a half. The facilities. Facilities. The good, utilities. Good facilities the and utilities. Anemonemities. Amenities. The amenities. I'm going to be honest. They have a surplus of toilets. They almost they have do. too many toilets. Almost, almost too many. Almost too it's many. It's kind of an uncomfortable amount of toilets. Yeah. 
Um, it's like, does anybody need to pee this much, I really? I don't think so. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to. I'm going to have to deduct points. I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, me too. That's what I was going to go for. There so go. yeah, That's eight. A solid eight. Solid eight. And of course, reaching into the magic pocket, we have our final scoring factor for this park. I'll remind the viewers, it's nine point five plus eight at the moment, so we're on mm -hmm. seventeen point five. That's some snazzy maps is, you got there. Out of ten, how does the name of the park make us feel? How does the name of the park make us feel? Let's think about Just that. Just remind us of the name of the park again. Bicentennial Park. Yeah, but there was something before that. It's the Macquarie River Bicentennial Macquarie Park. Macquarie River but, but it's Bicentennial, the Bicentennial Park. Bicentennial Park is the name. Now, I'll be honest, Bicentennial Man is a good movie. Sylvester Stallone, Sandra Bullock, it's a classic. Wesley Snipes also, I believe. It's very good. I think you're the wrong movie, aren't I? This Demolition Man. Mm -hmm. Bicentennial Man is a bad movie. I think Robin Williams. Yes. <laughs> Bicentennial Man is about Robin Williams being a robot who wants to become a human. But... I wonder. Centennial. What does that word mean? Bicentennial. Bi means 200 two. years. Or both. It's 200 years. Bicentennial is 200 years. That's a pretty cool name. I can't. I, I, I thought that he already knew feel, this. How does it make me feel? Two hundred years. I think it would. I think it would inspire more of a, a sense of pride or whatever in a resident of Bathurst. For me, yeah, it's it's a cool park. Uh, it it makes me geese. feel it's happy for geese. Bathurst. Not just ducks. It's it has got it has geese, geese and ducks. Who uh, doesn't love a good goose? And loud I'm gonna, birds. I'm going to be honest. She didn't fall in the water, but I'm going to give it a solid six for its name. That's how it makes me feel. I'm going to say... Seven. Seven. It's a good name. Makes That's me feel happy for Bathurst. A that they have point five Centennial Park. Gives a score of, I believe, 24 out of 30. May get quite solidly the winner so far. Mm. Pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Though I but think that's if what the scoring, years will if the get scoring you. system was equitable, hey, no, I think no, I disagree. I could have a wedding here. Done a bit better. It's got a lot of corners, and it's got a cool name. I think I think it's doing pretty well. I can imagine a wedding on these slopes. Seriously? Oh no no no! Yeah, a wedding would be great here. A wedding yeah. would be great, and it's got you should corners. get married here. It's got corners. When you find that special someone, get married here. It's got corners. And so, we are at the next park which is called Quota Park, which I don't really understand because it certainly doesn't meet the quota when it comes to a park because it's not really a park. It actually is so little a park, it has like one corner. <laughs> quota International. Ink. Ink, sorry. So yeah, what a park. That's, that's it. That's it. Do you have anything to say in defense of your town? I'm enjoying it. It's simple. It's to the point. It's mellow. Yes? Play nice. I did bring you here for contrast. I knew it wouldn't knock your socks off. I'm going to give this park, on its parkly goodness, a six. I'm going to give it a one. Do that. Why not? It's natural, it's a park, it's it's better than just another concrete structure. Three and a half it equals out at. Thank you very much. That's three and a half of parkiness. On its amenities. Amenities? Amenities. Amenities. And facilities and utilities. Yes. One bin. I'm going to give it a two. As am I. Oh, it does have a bench. I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to give it a two. Okay. And so two and a half and three and a half are the current marks for this Drum roll, please, for the final, the final <laughs> thing to take into account, which might make all the difference. So let's be honest. We're now going to judge the park on how many other people are here right now. Zero. The adventure park would have done quite well in this category. It would have. Um, but there are there are zero people in Quota Park. That is that is a three point five 
and 2.5. A score of 6. Yeah. Qu- quota Park, 6, six out, out, of out of 30. 6 out of 30. Which, I mean, is one fifth. You know, it could be worse. What, one fifth? It's one fifth as good. It's crap. I feel like doing a Julie Andrews number. The park is lots of grass in this one. It's something you don't see every day, that's for sure. Can't you swivel? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's digging spots all the way around it, so I'm guessing you can swivel. Use the space. Hey, look, there's a, there's a Hotmail e- email address here. Jesse, J-E-S-S-I-L-6 at hotmail.com. You should all email that email. <laughs> <laughs> what was it again? One more time. J-E-S-S-I-L-6. Oh, that could be a, a one as well. So it might be J E S S I one six at hotmail dot com. Email them both. L six one six. I'm guessing it's probably Jesse sixteen at hotmail dot com. And this is the meaning of fun. Yeah. Hi. Okay. We are ready for our judging of this little park that doesn't have a name. We have very much enjoyed it. Um, it's actually quite mellow. I, yeah. I can imagine reading a good book here. Yes. But, so I mean, I. whether or not you can read a book here, that may not be the criteria. So mm. let's start with Parkly Goodness. Parkly Goodness. It has a playground. That's always a plus. Mm. It has a digger. I mean, that's, that's fucking 100 points right there. Yeah. It's going to add a lot to his score, that's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and say seriously, I mean, if, if, if you think the point of a park is to be quiet and, you know, get away from the noise and the bustle, actually, even though it's surrounded by cars, it is actually quite nice. I'm going to give it quite a comfortable seven and a half. I was going to give it a six and a half, so that evens out at a seven. Seven points. The amenities and the anemones... I That's think, the kind of fish. Yeah. We've got it we've got to there consider are no the fact fish and I'm barely on screen. Yeah, you are, you're on no, screen. Part of my face was on screen. Um there's a bench, or well, there's a few benches. Place. There's toilets. But there's no bins. There's a mysterious shack. There is a mysterious I don't shack. Know what that is. Might be more toilets. This there might doesn't actually appear be to be a bin. Toilets. That is probably an There's issue. no bins. But there's a digger. There's a digger. So I'm gonna say That's not really solving I'm gonna say the, six. I'm going to say the same. Six. Because it is very well supplied with toilets and benches. And, 20. and the toilets are a comfortable distance away from the play area, so you don't have any wafting smells, which is good. So that's 13 out of 20. Mm-hmm. But of course, it all comes down to the random criteria that we're going to measure it on now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, between 1 and 10, how nudist friendly is it? <laughs> Oh, I'd say not very, because there's lots of houses around. This I is a, would say a heavily residential area. I would say it's going to be a problem to be nudist yeah. in, in this. You can maybe hide in the tube, naked. Um, part of you could hide, as Penny uh, demonstrated. You, can you can't fit all tube. of your body, but, but you could but, but fit from the naughty the torso, bits. Yes, the naughty bits could be hidden, uh, so it would probably be Assuming no one safe stood at the base of the tube. To hide in the tube. Uh, but other than that, no, not not not, no. not nude safe. So no, I'm going to say gonna, I'm going to say, say a one. I I'm think the tube can one. count for a one. So I'm, yeah, yeah, one, one. solid one. So solid that's one. a final score of seven, six, thirty, fourteen out of thirty. So it doesn't quite pass. No, unfortunately, quite pass. it loses on the necessity to yeah. be nudist friendly. And I mean, if it's if, if it's not nudist friendly, what's the point? Exactly. It is seriously the coolest thing in any of the parks we've been to. I love this little contraption. 